Army is set to open up Atlantic Hockey Play this weekend at the Island Friday and Saturday against Bentley, playoff rival Bentley. Hope to see you down here. I'm Matt Geica with head coach Derek Schooley. Derek, last weekend against Michigan Tech, I know you want to take on challenging competition in non-conference. So what did you learn about your team across those two games? Well, I mean, I thought we played really well on uh, Saturday and just obviously a bad... Uh, Bad play in overtime, cost us a shorthanded goal. We had a lot of chances. We learned that we need to be a little bit more diligent around the net and more determined around the net. Uh, we learned some stuff about our defensive zone coverage, especially on Sunday, that we need to clean up a little bit. But um, it was a good learning weekend. It was good to get some video, show the guys what we need to do better. And uh, we're still a confident group and ready to get uh, going into a, uh, conference series with a, a, a long time friend, foe, <laughs> nemesis. You can go through the whole thing. Your 10th year in the league, as I mentioned, what's changed about Atlantic hockey in the time since you joined in 2010? Well, just the top to bottom parity. Everybody's, uh, uh, there's no, used to look at the bottom and say, okay, there's probably about four or five teams that those are for sure points. There aren't any, any they're for sure points anymore. You got to make sure you come every game every weekend and be prepared to play or you're not going to get any points. So I, that's the one thing that really has changed about the league is the parity. The coaches do an outstanding job. Top to bottom our league has got so much better and uh, that's, uh, it's become a, before it was a cluster of teams and a couple good teams, now it's a top to bottom league. When you look at last weekend, special teams stand out. Is there one side of it that you're trying to work on a little bit more to, to improve the execution here for this weekend? No, both of them need to do a little bit better job. We gave up a few too many. Uh, uh, we lost the special teams battle. We, we won five on five on, on game one and then lost the special teams battle two nothing. Uh, we, we lost the special teams battle two nothing again on Sunday. So we need to make sure that we start winning special teams. We got to work on our power play and our penalty killing. Once again, it's early, and no panic buttons being pushed. It's a, a long marathon. It's not a sprint, and we got to make sure that we're prepared for, for just game one on Friday against Bentley. Well, speaking of early, a very impressive debut for Justin Kappelmaster. It can't be easy to come in after three years at a different program and assimilate into a new program, but he looked great on the ice uh, in Saturday's game and uh, definitely deserved better in terms of results. What do you think it is about him or his personality or his style that allowed him to come out of the gates like that? Well, he's been, uh, obviously, he's integrated himself with the team right away, and it's a challenge when you're when you're coming in and you're only here for one year, and he did an outstanding job getting with uh, the group of guys and uh, learning the group and being a part of our, our culture and our team, and uh, it was a very good first impression for, for us with Justin, and, and uh, he deserved better, but uh, we outshot him 35-31. They outshot us on, on Sunday 27-25. So it was a fairly even weekend. It's, they just put a few more in the net than we did. And lastly, the Falcons this week. You've knocked them out of the playoffs three out of the past four years. You know they'll be hungry to come in here and get a little bit of revenge in the regular season. What stood out to you about their big season last year? They finished second in the league. They went on a little run right when they came here to Pittsburgh, and they just kept kept it going until the playoffs. Their goaltender, uh, Aiden Polino, is a very good goaltender. They've got uh, a lot of dynamic forwards up front. Uh, some pretty good defensemen that uh, they didn't lose a whole bunch. They lost a little bit and uh, it should be uh, good. They will have played five straight games against us because they didn't play last weekend. At least we threw an AIC and Michigan Tech in the, the mix in between them, but they all played five straight against us and um, we're excited to get going in, in conference play. First two of four against Bentley very early on this season. Very interesting to, to see that. Hope to see you down here at the island Friday at 7, Saturday at 5 as the Colonials start league play.